what what other kind because because there's kind of three different things that I kind of want to take this conversation down now. You you I want I want to talk about because I think we can go three different directions. The the kind of mental training that you talk about with people, the the physical things of what you of what you can do, and then uh, also I, I kind of want to make this more higher level for for people that might be. Uh, doing training within organizations. So are there any other kind of mental tricks that that you teach uh, people that attend your courses of, of what they can do to not freeze in those situations? Yeah, well, and and it's a, tr I don't, I do tell them it's a trick. Uh, look, our minds are just absolutely amazing. They can do so many wonderful things. They can do so many terrible things if we don't know how to not let them do terrible things. So they can be our worst enemy if we want. So when I break down the five steps of Alive and I talk about uh, the assess process, which is the very first step, that is the only step that is pretty much all psychological, all mental. The rest are all physical. But it's also the most important step because it is the one that is going to set the pace for everything that happens after that. So... Part of what I do, and part of the reason I, I when I explain it, I say, I, I literally use my hands. Okay, when when the sh you hear shots and you realize it's a shooter, take a deep breath and you focus. Now, I use my hands like this because I create a funnel and I say, this is your funnel. And this is everything, the emotions, the physical, everything that's going on goes into this funnel. And it comes down and it comes out focus, laser focus on survival, on what you're going to do next, which means you're blocking out the distractions of the pick, the, the, your, the faces of your children thinking, I'm never going to see them again. The, my loved ones, dogs and cats, whatever it is, I'm never going to see them again. So the, obviously the breath is to um, get oxygen to our, our vital organs because they're starving from the adrenaline, making your heart pump three times faster. But I tell everybody, take a deep breath, get some oxygen, focus, and then focus on what your next steps are. And it's literally, I'm trying to get people to remember this one step with a visual and an audible uh, uh, memory so that they don't get sidetracked and they don't get distracted by the fear, by the chaos. Um, so that's that's kind of a trick. Um, also, the 10-minute thing, I I... I wanted to come up with, you know, I'm, I'm a big goal guy. I like smart goals, right? You know, it's got to be measurable. It's got to be timely. It's got to be attainable. So I, I want people to immediately set a goal of survival when something like this happens. So they're focused on the positive, on taking action. They're not distracted by the negative and then falling into that victim mentality and surrendering to, surrendering to whatever fate they think is in store. So that's, that's, if that answers your question, that's kind of my little, my little, uh, tricks to, to get people, um, to stay focused where they need to be instead of getting distracted. 